Hello, people. We're going to talk about a well-balanced altcoin portfolio. Now, the amount of Bitcoin you have will depend on if you want to take risk or if you don't want to take risk. The more risk you want to take, the less Bitcoin you want to have. But just in terms of altcoin, altcoin portfolio, I think you want to separate it out into a couple of buckets. One is the L1s with an actual DeFi ecosystem. Two is maybe GameFi if you're really into GameFi. Three, um, you want RWA. Four, you want AI. And five, if you want memes, you can have memes. Now, memes should be maybe 15 to 20% of your portfolio. If you don't want memes, that's fine. You just expand the other four parts of your portfolio. So in terms of L1s, I think you want some combination or mix of Ethereum, Solana, uh, Tron, ADA, Sui, Ton, and uh, you know one or two others. But those are the main ones I would actually pick. Aptos could be another one you want to look at. I think the high growth ones right now are Solana, Sui, Aptos, um, Ton, and maybe Tron as well. Uh, uh, ADA right now, I mean, you really have to deter depend on what Charles actually does with it. I know they just integrated the Bitcoin OS stuff. Not really sure how well that's actually going to play in. So like the L1 stuff, I would say like 30, 40% of your portfolio, that should be a big share. And you probably want a mix of like, somewhere between like three and four of those coins I mentioned. You know, like if you, you can do like Solana Sui Ton, Solana Sui Tron, Solana Sui Cardano, um, you know, or like any other mix of that. Or like, you know, Apto Sui uh, Tron or something like that. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not counting BNB in this one, although like if you want BNB in it, it it's, it's okay as well because BNB also has... Um, like BNB also has a, a pretty decent ecosystem. So if you want to substitute like the third one for BNB, that's fine. I do think BNB has, you know, a decent, a good amount of growth potential. Maybe not as much as something like Solana, but still a very, very good amount of growth potential. If BNB is also kind of weird to talk about because they do buy back coins every quarter and then they burn them, which actually results in price going up. But that might actually have some kind of trouble with, um, I would say, like regulatory authorities. And we know that Binance has been a target of those as well. So BNB is kind of a weird one to take, uh, to take into account, but I wouldn't mind if you like, you know, substituted Tron or Solana or Sui with BNB. I do think BNB is going to get to like, you know, a couple thousand dollars, maybe like two, three thousand uh, dollars in a good scenario. So that's the L1 bucket. Um, in terms of the GameFi bucket, now you don't have to do GameFi. GameFi is a kind of a risky type of venture because I haven't really seen a successful crypto game uh, yet, really successful crypto game. I mean, you could just substitute Ton for this one if you don't have Ton in your other one, because the most popular games right now are on Ton, whether it's Catacins, Hamster Combat or, st or something like that. And Ton's gonna have more uh, games like that come out with their ecosystem. And they can obviously use Telegram to actually advertise those games. Like, I think like other chains can make um, games on a telegram as well sui has done so but i'm not really sure if they're going to be as successful or as popular because like i don't think they'll quite have the prominence that the ton games have so game five you know you have nakamoto games you have like alluvium uh you have mana although i wouldn't really get mana sandbox you know a lot of stuff like that also like you know some of the big titles actually coming out so GameFi, you know, I would, I probably wouldn't stick more than 10% of my portfolio in GameFi. I think GameFi is just really, really risky right now because we, once again, we haven't seen a major crypto game actually make a breakthrough. And if you want to bank on that your game is going to make a breakthrough, that's a really, really risky bet. Although it could play out very well. So the other thing, um, the next thing I would look at is like RWA or real world asset tokenization, that's gonna to be really hot. I'm a little bit confused about how that will actually bring value unless you're using your coin to collateralize the assets, which most of them aren't, but people are gonna fall into these anyway, so maybe that won't really matter in terms of price. So I would definitely look at Ondo, that's the big one. Um, if you want to be a little safer, you would have that most of your portfolio. I still think that has a lot of room for growth, by the way, but some of the smaller ones like Maple, Centrifuge, and uh, a couple of the others, there is Goldfinch, but I probably wouldn't touch Goldfinch at this point. I think that's a little too risky. They have a lot of debt and stuff, so I may not actually want to buy them. But like like Centrifuge, um, Maple, 
that those actually seem okay. And of course, Ondo as well. And of course, like you need some AI stuff as well because AI is going to be big. I actually think like outside of memes, I think AI is actually going to be the biggest niche. So I would be looking at Fetch AI, which is by the way, is ASI if you don't know. RNDR, um, yeah, Fetch AI, RNDR, Pal AI, and maybe a couple of the smaller ones. I think those are actually going to do really, really well. So AI and uh, R, like AI and uh, RWA, you know, maybe should be about 20, 25% of your portfolio each. And then like whatever you have left out of after those four, you might want to look at memes. Um, I would pick mostly the bigger memes like, you know, Doge, Shiba, Pepe. I, Pepe I'm actually pretty high on because it was a meme before even the whole crypto thing. And of course, like Floki I'm high on, uh, you know, like Bonk, Popcat, things like that. You could go with smaller memes. There's also Turbo. So I think like that kind of like diversified meme portfolio will actually pro might actually have the highest ROI, but obviously you don't want to go 100% into memes because they could all, they could, it could dump to zero pretty fast. So like, you know, 15 to 20% of your portfolio in memes could be the most valuable part of your portfolio after a while, or it could be the least valuable part of your portfolio. So you don't really want to go all in on them, but I think like having a part of your portfolio in them is not a bad idea. So that's kind of how I'd spread it out for the bull run. Um, obviously, this is not including Bitcoin in your portfolio because Bitcoin should take up whatever percentage depending on your risk tolerance. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.